everyone welcome back to the channel today we're going to be continuing coloring the frost dragon as requested by a couple of viewers just a quick disclaimer this is an adult channel and the videos on this channel are made for adults and not for children in any way shape or form so let's crack on see so yeah, a few people said they wanted to see me carry on coloring the frost dragon so okay how are we all? Are we all okay since our last chat? It's Wednesday, so we're halfway through another week. Oh, it's going so fast, all these weeks and days. Hairdressers are now back open in Wales. I haven't booked an appointment yet. I'll wait for it to calm down a bit, but I will book one at some point. Um, you can't see what I'm doing. I'm slightly off the screen. I do apologise. I'm so hopeless. Um, yeah, I'm still working from home, as is most people who can. Like Paul's still working from home. I have absolutely no idea when my office is going to be open for business again. And I am not even worried about it, to be honest. It'll be open when it opens. We're fine, Jennifer's fine. Monday, she was a good as gold while we were working. She just sat around and just carried on doing whatever it was she was doing, happily playing by herself, not worrying about what me and her dad were getting up to. She came and sat with us for a little bit and then she um, went back uh, and sat where she wanted to and did what she was doing. And oh, she was good good as gold you couldn't have wanted a child to behave any better she was a diamond on that day I will admit she, she was amazing so yeah I'm really really pleased the way she's been behaving she's such a good girl that uh, you couldn't you know I mean she has her moments like Monday night I think it was Monday or sat, sat, one night anyway she had to sleep. It might have been Tuesday. Yeah, no, it was Monday. I'm sure it was Monday. Um, she wanted to have a lie down in her her travel cot, which we use as sort of like um, a playpen, but it's also comfortable if she wants to have a sleep, which she doesn't very often these days. But on on Monday, she said she walked up to her cot and pointed at it. I said, "Do you want to go in there?" And she went, "Yeah." I said, "Are you sure you want to go in there?" And she was like, "Yeah." So I put her in there and she lay down and she had her cushion and her, her blanket and her cuddly toy. And she she went to sleep. So I came up and had a little doze as well. And I put my camera down that I'm weekly vlogging with and I can't find it. So I don't know where I've put, where I've put it. It's probably in my drawer downstairs actually. It's not going to be a very long weekly vlog because I'm just not... I keep forgetting to do it so... I also can't find the original blue I was using, although I think I was also using this one because it's facing the wrong way. So I tend to put them in the wrong way. So I couldn't find my. Not doing very well. I'm not very well prepared today. I'm not going to lie. So put a little bit of light. That's better. On there. Um, yeah, she was good. Well, she went to sleep. Then when she woke up, she had a bit of a mardy. She woke up and she would not stop crying. She would not let any of us pick her up. She wouldn't come out. She didn't want to come out. If we went to want to cuddle, she was like, no. Pulled away. It was sort of bizarre because she's never like that. And then she just got over it. I brought dinner out and we went and had dinner and she sat down and she had her tea with us and she was fine then. It was just... A very very odd sort of I'm gonna say funny five minutes really and um, she's never normally like that I'm still looking for this other blue pencil which I just don't know where it's gone and I saw it earlier today so I'll probably see it as soon as I stop filming 
but that's okay. We'll come up to the top now and do a bit up here. So yeah, she was in a very funny mood. Bless her. But, you know, she's all right. She's asleep now, bless her. Paul's in bed asleep as well. It's just me up as usual. Doing this. <laughs> and everything's fine, yeah. Mum's fine, her foot's getting better now. So I have got about nine whips on the go and I'm about to start another one. It's terrible. I've obviously I've got this one. I've got I'm a, a pattern that I started last month. I've got a pattern that I started this month. I've got um a couple that I'm doing works on for other videos. I've got a Christmas one on the go. And then I've got Mercury Rosans downstairs, which I'm working on. And I'm about to start doing um, Flourish by Johanna Bassford, the, the freebie that was on her website that she did. I'm going to do one of those. I've got a load of Colour in Heaven um, subscriber ones that I've got to print out, as well as the Discovery Club, which I'm subscribed to. I just don't know when I'm going to get to, to do them all. I'll have to go and look for that Discovery Club one. It's in my inbox. I haven't deleted it, so. Oh, it's terrible. The amount of colouring. And I've got more book coming. It's terrible. I keep saying I'm not going to buy books, and then I end up buying loads of them. Because I think, oh, I want that book. Or as I say, um, I order something for somebody else, and, so, and a colouring book falls in my cart. <laughs> So, I've got to stop because the Black Widow's coming out at the end of the month. I won't be able to get them straight away. So, I don't know whether they'll be available before payday or after. He's estimating probably after payday, which is better for me, really. But, you know, it's like, I really want those. Can't wait for them to come out. But, it's like, ugh. With pencils and yes although I love all the black widows so far you will get a first impressions video on those which I will have to film in one day to get it up straight away at the moment I've just put up a secure jelly roll one and what I think of them and I've still got to finish off another one well I've got another two to finish off as well so I haven't done any eBay other than posting items. I was going to do some photos today, but tomorrow's a non-filming day, so I'll do a load of photos tomorrow night. I've got some stuff I can list tomorrow, so I'll list tomorrow and I'll photo tomorrow night. It, it is quite difficult to try and fit everything in, to be honest. But like I said, with the eBay, it's as long as I make my fees and a bit of money. I'm not really trying to make a huge profit on it. I do it for fun, really. And I do like doing that. So this is going to take a little while to do all these scales, so I'll do a bit of something else in a minute. So all down there to do. Oh. He is looking good, though. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, I've got lots of videos to come for you. I hope uh, you're enjoying the content I am putting out, and welcome to all the new subscribers that I've uh, recently obtained it's nice to have you here I hope you enjoy your visit and I hope you'll come back 
again and again because I do appreciate every single one of you. You you are what makes this worthwhile if it weren't for you guys and your lovely comments. Obviously I wouldn't do it because there's no point if nobody's watching. Same as I, I'm pretty sure everybody feels like that though. Um, and I'll be doing lots more videos for you whether it be weekly vlogs or reading wrap ups what I'm watching listening that video watching listening to and reading that's quite a fun video to do it's nice to see to go over what I've um done in a week it, re it really is quite nice to to see what I've done in a week At the moment I haven't read much. I am reading a, quite a big book at the moment, or a couple of big books. I've always got one downstairs because I like to read downstairs. Um, if I'm not colouring in the evening sometimes I have a read. So I'm currently reading a book on the actress Mae West. I've read a book on her before and I've got another two books on her to read. One is just the films of, so it's a nice one, nice easy one. Um, but the other one's another full biography. And then obviously I've got, I've got a lot of books to read so I need to really crack on and read some more books because I need to clear the the tops of the cupboards that they're on so I can put other things on there, probably more colouring books. The way I'm going it's not going to be long before I need more space. Terrible, I can't help myself. I just like the books, I like the pictures and I like thinking oh I've got that one, I'll do that one next and even if I don't actually get to it like that, <laughs> that happens a lot, you don't actually get to the one you intend to. But uh, yeah, And then you try and get all the ones by a particular artist, like all the Hannah Carlson's. I'm still missing some of those. All the um, Clara Markova, I still haven't got hardly, I've still only got one of those. Um, all the uh, Hannah Lynn's, obviously. And then, of course, I've got the Johanna Bassfords. Jade Summer's not an artist, but I do like to collect the brand. I've got a lot of those. Again, I've bought a few this month. Um, I'm trying to stay away from them, but I just can't. If they put out one that I like the look of, I'm going to get it. And they put out another pattern book this week. Well, yeah, last week, this week. Um, intricate patterns. And you know me, I love patterns. So I had to get it. I haven't started anything in it, but I don't think it's going to be long. But it, they are very intricate. I might even have to go down to the fine liners on this. I don't know yet, I haven't decided yet. I might use the fine points on the twice. I'll have to see. So as you can see, or oh, rather you can't because I'm not showing you, I'm trying to just blend in the scale colours using this light blue. Sort of an icy colour. But I am going to go over the scales later with some, what's it called? Do you know what? I can't think of what it's called. I'll think of it in a minute. It's a. Uh... <sighs> blanking on what it's called. Hang on. Winker Stella. We'll go over it with the clear Winker Stella. You see, it's, so, it's just awful. Sometimes you just cannot remember what you're say, trying to say. Sorry, it's because the book's all tangled up around here. It's in a different, slightly different position than normal, so I've got it actually raised up on me as opposed to <laughs> flat. I'm liking the colour actually. I need a little bit more of this just slightly darker blue here. 
That's it. That's it. And I like the way it does sort of this pencil, this one will kind of blend it in a little bit. liking the way he's turning out at the moment. So I've got to do his teeth and stuff now. But I do like this frost dragon. I think he's... I'm going to have to fold the book under itself like that and hold it down because it's getting on my nerves. I think he's very, very handsome looking dragon, this guy. been a hell of a week for deaths already the, that actress from Glee I can't think of her name and you know who who drowned was very very sad and of course Kelly Preston and my battery's dead so I'll be back in a second there we go that's all done yeah um, as I was saying Kelly Preston died of cancer didn't she she's very very sad bless her she was only 57 and of course Benjamin Keogh which is Elvis's grandson, Lisa McPrew Presley's son, killed himself. He was only 27. So I, I, you know, I mean, I get depressed, but I can't imagine how much pain he must have been in to do that, knowing how close he was to Lisa Marie. And while his girlfriend was begging him not to do it, it's, it's so sad. And he looked so much like Elvis. So it's like, what's going to be next? Who's going to be next, you know? It happens like that. You do, you start thinking, who's going to be next? What's going to be next? You know? because it's just never, you know. And it's so sad, these young people. I know um, the girl from Glee was, it was an accident. She was out swimming with her son and she managed to get him up on the boat but she couldn't pull herself up or something like that. It makes you wonder. What's going on in the world when the things like that happen? Of course, um, some states and states are shutting down again. I think California is starting to close things again because they're having a spike in cases. Over here, we're quite low. Um, they're making it mandatory to wear masks in shops in England, which it is in Scotland. They're not doing it in Wales yet. Um, Drake was usually a few weeks behind. The reason he said he's not going to is because the R rating in Wales is so low that we're obviously the people that are really listening to what's being said and they're, they're looking after and they're taking care and they're being mindful of everybody else. Um, when I went out on the weekend, I, I didn't wear a mask. I will be honest. Um, I will wear one if they insist. Say if, if I had to go to the hairdressers as well, I'd have to wear one, which is fair enough, understandable. Um, and I think I saw only one person or two people in the shop wear masks which did surprise me I thought there would be more but uh... it does worry me because I can't stand anything being across my nose but of course it's only a thin layer of, of material I can't see it being that much of a problem even for me as an asthmatic you know, I'd rather wear a mask and maybe save somebody else's life or, you know, because they're not going to get it from me. Not that I've got it, but, in, you know, in case. I'd rather, I'd rather that than, you know, pass anything on to somebody. But it's... Uh, I 
really they should have enforced mask wearing at the beginning of this I guess rather than now although they are expecting and predicting a huge spike in winter which is worrying that's why I just can't see us ending up going back into the offices properly until next year we'll have to see what happens I mean I'm quite happy working from home um, Jennifer will be going to nursery again soon she's going to a different nursery one that's closer to home and uh, part of the reason is because I don't have to go into the office I wouldn't be able to get to where her nursery was and back again by the time it took to start my shift and I wouldn't be able to get to the nursery in time to pick her up um, at the finishing time if she was at the nursery she used to be at and while she enjoyed it Another reason I wanted to go to one locally is that if she makes friends in Newport and then goes to a school in Risca where we are, she'll probably never see those friends again. But obviously all the kids in the Risca nursery are going to be from the Risca area, pretty much. So if they do go to different schools and they're good friends, there's more chance that they'll still hang out when they go to their different schools. At least I would hope so. I don't know, but we'll see. So, but we'll, we'll have to find out. So yeah, quite happy doing this, making videos and working from home. Like I said, I went out on the weekend. If you watched that vlog, that was very weird. I'm not going to lie. It was very strange going out into a public place. Haven't been out for weeks. I mean, other than shopping the week before. To go somewhere like Roth and see all these people just wandering around like nothing was wrong. It was quite, quite bizarre. I think it's a very strange situation that we're in at the moment is very very odd very very odd but uh, it is what it is and we have to deal with it accordingly and we are so just gonna do this this won't take too long to finish now really oh I haven't done this bit up here that won't take long to finish off anyway. Bit of shading. Yeah, I mean, oh, I've got a big line on my pad over here, as you can see. Can you see it? Where is it? It's up here. You can't see it. Here. But I'll take that off uh, uh, with the eraser. But the eraser's downstairs at the moment. And then all I'll do is, when I do a background, which I will do, but I won't do that on camera. You'll see that in the completed pages at the end of the month. It'll cover it, because it's all going to be ice blue and icy colours and things like that and stuff like that. So don't worry about it. I'm not worrying about that, because I can fix that later. I don't know where that came from, but uh, probably when I dropped the pencil earlier. Yeah. So I've got a few DVDs coming, so um, not this week, but next week I will be having a DVD marathon. I have got um, I have got the Blu-ray of Easter Parade, but I need to watch that downstairs because I haven't got a Blu-ray player up here. I could put one up here because I've got two downstairs. I don't know, I no, let's not go there. Um, but I do, you know, I'll watch that downstairs at some point. But I've got four... Harry Grant films come in and I've got a load of films that I haven't watched still whoops we're out of focus again so I intend to do what I did last week and have a movie night Paul will be having a, a beer with his mate Phil and a catch up on Zoom which is fine by me because I can 
watch my films. He's not particularly into old films, he doesn't mind them. He's not particularly into like musicals and stuff, so it's very hard for me to genuinely watch them because he gets very bored with them very quickly. He has watched some Like It Hot and he's watched The Wizard of Oz twice because we watched it with Jennifer the other week and she loved it. Although it terrified me when I was a kid. I didn't seem to bother her. Maybe she's too young to be scared by it yet, you know? I think her idea of a nightmare is mummy and daddy not being there when she wakes up. But, um, I know the Wicked Witch used to scare me when I was little. Not as little as that, though. And I think that's the thing, at their age, they don't really know what fear is. They learn it from us. Because they have no fear. Listen, it must be nice to be like that, not to be frightened of everything and just to run around and in, enjoy yourself. And Do you know what I mean? It must be so nice. There's a lot of scales on this fella. I thought the red one was bad enough. I did like doing the red one though. And that's why I wanted to do this one. Because I thought you might enjoy it. And it would appear you are when I show you what I'm doing. He's looking pretty good though. So I'm using Prismacolors I am on this one. I haven't used them for a while because I tend to use my Black Widows as my go-to pencils at the moment. And I'm using the Polys in the Kirby Rosanne book. Which I am really enjoying but I know it's so complicated. It's so detailed and daunting so I'm just doing little bits at a time. That's why it's, it's going to take me a long time to do it. Much like Colin Thompson's book will. Um, the version we've got with Colour in Heaven. I've started... Well, I've, I have finished one in there. But I've started one that I haven't done anything for a few days on. Um, but I think it, they're great because they're sort of like sec segmented pictures. So you can just like do a section every now and again. And it doesn't, doesn't really matter if you, you leave it for a bit. You're not going to really lose where you are. Let's put a bit of that there, put that there. We're nearly done now here. And I'm just going to put a bit of this light non-photo blue. I like non-photo blue, I think it's a lovely colour. And We're just doing these little bits of scales, putting a little bit of blue in it, a bit there, colouring these bits. Again, they're just bits of scale. And then a bit of blue there, a bit of blue there. It's harder up in these smaller bits to do any of the um, detailed pieces. You can do some of it though. Let's get in here. Anything left? Those little wispy tail things then at these things, which I'll do later. I'll do them in a minute after I've done these scales.
Oh, it's hard work this is. <laughs> it's fun though. I mean, I love my colouring. It's my main hobby. It used to be that my main hobby was photography. But when you've got a two-year-old holding your hand, you can't really hold a camera. It's very difficult. So, of course, now I do this instead. And you can't, well, you can do, like, some photography inside at night. And you can go out and do night photography. But it's very difficult to leave a two-year-old when you go out to do some night photography. So this is sort of replaced photography as my main hobby. At least for now. And I'm not saying I'm not going to get back to taking photographs. Because I'm sure when she's older, and she doesn't need to hold my hand all the time. Um, she doesn't always, because sometimes she holds her dad's or her granddad's. It depends on what sort of mood she's in. Um, but when it, she does get to that point, then I'll start taking a camera out again. But a lot of the time, she wants me to hold her hand. Especially if it's just me and Paul. If it's me, Paul and Dad, it's my dad all the way. She wants her granddad. Oh, she adores him. Which is fine by me. <laughs> I can take some pictures, but... At the moment, because of the the lockdown, we're not really going anywhere, are we? So we're just staying within our area. But when we do start going out again, if my dad's with us, I will take my camera and I can get some nice pictures of her. But, um... At the moment, it's it's colouring, and I love colouring. I love it more than I, I never never knew. I, mean, I remember doing it as a child, and I remember loving it as a child, and at school and all that. I was never good at the drawing, so colouring books were all right. And then, of course, you grow out of things, and you stop doing them because you're no longer a child. And colouring books were back then mainly for children. There was no such thing as adult colouring back in the eighties. I don't think. And then I can remember when I was working at Yellow Pages, um, the manager, one of the managers there, Casey, she, if it was quiet, would crack out and print out a load of colouring pictures. Yes, they were kids' colouring pictures. This was before the, the colouring craze really started. We're talking about 2010 literally just before it started and she'd get some markers and she'd bring around and you want to colour a picture in and we'd like yeah go on and why not and we'd all sit around colouring pictures it was great at my current job you can't do that but we're too busy to anyway to be doing stuff like that um but yeah i mean it was great we used to cut, sit and colour for not oh, brilliantly because the pens were uh, weren't very good but then when I learnt about colouring books for adults, I was like, oh, that sounds interesting, I'll get one of them. And I got a couple. When I was back doing Booktube, I got some from uh, Carlton Books. They sent me a load of stuff for free. And I reviewed the books on my channel, and I showed the colouring books. And that's when I started the adult colouring. So that's a bit more here. Just to ice it up. Yeah, that looks nice. So next I'm just going to do these little swirly bits, then his eyes, and then that's pretty much it, apart from doing my background, which I'm not going to do tonight because I need to get my um, oh, what's it called? My eraser, my derwent eraser, because it's downstairs. So yeah, so I'm just going to do a little bit along here. We're just going to Colour them in. Non photo blue, which is my one of my favourite blues, I will admit. With this, it's hard to see what's supposed to be squirrely and what's actually background. Some of it you can see. Oh, 
A bit of a darker colour on there as well. His eyes were yellow, I think, did they? Just have a quick look at what colour they said his eyes should be. So I'm not worried about too much about going over because we are going to do an icy background as well. So it's going to be very light colours. So let's just check his eyes. Piercing yellow eyes. Okay, let me just put these uh, blues away. Non-photo blue goes down there. And these go up here somewhere. That one goes there. There yeah, There's one blue missing and that's the one I was using. Now what colour is this? This is Chartreuse Yellow. I'm going to use this one first, sort of a greeny yellow. I'm going to do his eye. And we'll go back to the yellows and we'll go with this one. And then the only thing I've got to do is his teeth, which will be slightly off colour in a second. Oh, I like his eye. A little bit of green in it, but I think that just gives it a bit of definition. And then with his teeth, I'm just going to come in then with this sort of, what colour is this? Ginger root colour, just giving it an off-white colour. Little bit broke. That's not good. Let me just see if I can get a, a point on this one. It's my fault. I think it's a bit hard on it. I am a bit hard on my pencils. I do like a very good point normally. Yeah. So you wouldn't have necessarily really sparkly white teeth. They would be a little bit discoloured. So I'm just going to do that. And then we'll go over it with a cream or a white. That. Let's go over it with the white. I'm going to get my Wing Costella next. There we are. Because they say that the, um, the scales sparkle or glisten. We want really the white one because it's not completely white. And we're just gonna paint over it just over the scaly bits. left-handed I really should have started at the bottom I'm going to end up covered in sparkles I 
I don't even know if you can see these sparkles. I can, I can see it on the book, Oops. but I don't know if you can actually, yeah you can a little bit see the sparkle slightly can't you, just slightly. Just because it's they say that the, the scale's sparkly, we'll just put a little bit, bit on the scales. And I probably will put some more on the background when I do the full background. Make his um, background look icy. I'm just checking. There we go. There's our frost dragon. He's pretty much finished. He's very light. Um, but as you can see, you can see a bit of sparkle there where it's still wet. Just over the scales. So that's how I did my dragon. Like I said, I'll, I'll erase this uh, line here. And then I'll put in a pale blue, blue icy black, blue white background, just sort of make it look like there's something there. Maybe, I might not, I haven't quite decided yet. But that's our Frost Dragon. I hope you've enjoyed this colouring chat. If you have, please give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. We'll be colouring in Magical Jungle next, on our next one. So I hope to see you then, and I'll see you all soon. Thanks for joining me. Bye, guys.